Hello everyone, welcome to Pampered Brittany. So today we are making for dinner our famous bean burgers. Now, you probably know them as black bean burgers, but we aren't a total fan of black beans. We like them, but we prefer our favorite beans are the pinto beans. So we're, we've substituted our black bean recipe with pinto beans. Now this, this is the stand mixer that makes it oh so easy. Hands off, don't have to touch it, which is good because I don't like the feeling of it. <laughs> so here we go, we're just gonna close this. We got two cups of cooked beans in here that we cooked in our multi-cooker because we like buying the dried beans instead of the canned. You can totally do this recipe with canned beans as well. So we're doubling it to make about eight burgers tonight. So we have two cups of beans right here. Now I'm gonna put this on the mix setting with our paddle attachment and just hit go. Nope, didn't quite hold it long enough. There we go. And now this is gonna emulsify our beans for us. Now, when we emulsify our beans, we don't like it completely paste. Some people like it completely paste. If you do, you can just leave it longer. Use a scraper to scrape all the sides down to make sure you're getting all the beans. We prefer it where some of the beans are still whole, some are paste, some are kind of half crushed. It adds a bit more texture so that it's more like ground beef when you bite into it as opposed to just a tasty burger. So I'm just watching for it here. So we're just gonna wait a few minutes before we add in our seasonings, make sure it gets all kind of that half paste, half not paste texture going on. And I've got all my ingredients prepped here, and as we go, I will tell you what they are. There we go, we're starting to get some tastiness going here. So what I'm gonna add here is our Pamper Chef Black Truffle and Curve Seasoning. So that's going in. Then we're gonna add, so we really like spice. If you don't like spice, you don't have to add this, but if you like a kick and a spice in your burgers, we love adding the honey sriracha sauce, or honey sriracha seasoning. Literally, we put the honey sriracha seasoning on everything. Like, it is amazing seasoning for us. We buy like two, bo two, three bottles at a time. Okay, now that's getting mixed up. We've got some green onion here chopped up because we prefer green onion. We have it diced. I diced it just using our Santuco knife. Now, if you're not a fan of green onion, you can totally do this with white onion or sweet yellow onion and just use like a grater and grate it in to make it be really small or you can just dice it up with your knife, whatever you prefer. We're just waiting a minute for all the spices to get all mixed in with our onion to get all mixed. We don't want any clumps. There we go. Perfect, perfect. We're looking good. I'm so excited. This is honestly one of my favorite dinners. All right, next we're gonna add about a third of a cup of plum sauce for some sweetness. And we're gonna add two eggs. See, we need a bit more time and that's okay. We can just totally go over here, tell it to stop beeping yeah. at me and go to mix. Okay. And then just tell it to go. There we go. Oh, I don't hold this down long enough sometimes because the way my hands are. I'll let this go for a minute and I'm just gonna add our two eggs. Now I'm a crack the egg on the bowl kind of person. Always have been, it's kind of the baker in me that prefers to crack the egg on the bowl. I know some people don't like that because then it could potentially get shallows in and whatnot, but you could also bang it on the counter if you prefer. Wipe my hands off in and all of our various stuff. Alright, once that is mixed in. Then we are going to add a couple more secret ingredients to burgers. Just gonna wait a minute for it to get mixed in. There we go. Now it's gonna look a little runny at this point just because all we've added is our dry seasonings and our wet ingredients. It's our dry, really dry ingredients here that are really gonna bring it all together. So what we got here is 
just under two cups of breadcrumbs. Now these are regular gluten breadcrumbs. You can do this recipe with gluten-free breadcrumbs. We have done it with gluten-free breadcrumbs. The only difference is you don't need nearly as much breadcrumbs. You really only need about a cup and a half, but that's totally up to your texture and your preferences as well. You can add or take away more to, depending on how dry or how sticky you like your burgers. Yeah. I like pouring it in slowly so it gets an even coating, even mixture. As you can see, it's starting to bind up our beans together, so that way it's more of a paste-like consistency or a thicker consistency. Mm -hmm. Now, well, we're going to let this mix up for a minute. And once we get this all mixed for a minute, we're going to add our even more secret ingredient, which is our cheddar cheese. Now, we have here about a cup and a half of cheese to add to our burgers because we really like the cheddar cheese flavor in our bean burgers. And we also find it helps the beans to help stick together. So I'm gonna, while this is stock, go ahead and add this in. And then we're gonna get it going just to mix in the cheese and then we just gotta make our burgers. Okay, one second. Sorry about that. My son loves it when my husband is home because they play together, they play all sorts of things together. So as you can see with the mixer and all the presets, it is really easy to just whip up homemade burgers for your family. So we're just going to let that go for a minute. And as you can see, it's got a great sticky consistency now as opposed to the wet consistency we had before. Alright, and once this is done mixing and we've got a good cheese ratio throughout the whole thing, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to scoop it out of here and we're going to use our extra large Pamper Chef scoop to scoop it from here to our pan. Now our pan, we prefer using our non-stick stainless steel skillet because it's, it heats up really, really quickly, so it heats up really quickly, but then the beans don't stick because of the non-stick coating. We find it's just perfect.